everyone, Katie here with Omi Crochet, and today we are going to be making this super bulky hat. Alright, let's get started. Materials that you need to make this hat are a 16mm crochet hook, a large eye tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and a stitch marker, which I am just using a scrap piece of yarn. The yarn that we're using is brand new from Joann's Premium Yarn KC Arctic, and it is in the color wine. We'll be using mostly the whole skein. And for the puff ball, I just got a contrasting color in the same yarn, and I used about half the skein for the puff ball. We're going to start off by making a magic ring. And how I do that is I bring my yarn over and around and kind of secure it right there with my pinky. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, you're going to let go of this and pull up a loop. Now in that magic circle we're going to make eight half double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, there's five, six, seven, and eight. And if you're not sure about your stitch count, you just count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead and pull your tail to close the hole. Now we're not going to slip stitch to close this. We're going to work in continuous rounds. So in this first half double crochet right here, we're going to put two more half double crochets. One and two. And at this point I like to go back to the first one and that's where you put your stitch marker. Now each stitch around will get two half double crochets until you reach your stitch marker. Now here we are at the last stitch before our stitch marker and that stitch gets two half double crochets. And that is the end of the second round. And you should have a total of 16 stitches. We're going to do another increase round. So in this first stitch with the stitch marker we're going to do one half double crochet. And then you can go ahead and take one of the tail ends and just push that right through to mark your first stitch. And then in the next stitch right here, we're going to put two half double crochets. We're going to work that all the way around. One half double crochet, two 
two half double crochets in the next stitch. So go ahead and keep working one, two, one, two, all the way until you get to the last stitch and then we'll meet up there and I'll show you what to do next. So here we are coming up to the end of round three and we have two stitches left. One half double crochet and then typically you would put two half double crochets into this stitch but we're going to only put one which will give us a total stitch count of 23 stitches around. So if you need to go back, count, make sure you have your 23 stitches. And from this point on, we are not going to be doing any more increases. We're just going to continue working half double crochets in the round for a total of six rounds. Every time you get to your stitch marker, make sure you just go ahead and and move that up it's going to help you keep track of how many rounds you've done so one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of six rounds starting here one two three four five six and then We'll meet up there and I will show you the next step. So here we are at the end of round six. We're gonna finish it off with a half double crochet. Now in this next stitch, we're gonna do one single crochet And then in the next stitch, we're gonna do a slip stitch. And this is just gonna kind of even out around to do the brim of the hat. In the next stitch, we're gonna do a slip stitch and a chain one. In the back loop only, Right here, we're going to do one half double crochet. And we're going to continue to work back loop only half double crochets all the way around. Now we've made it back to the beginning. One more back loop half double crochet. And this time we are going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch to close up that round. Chain one. We're gonna do the same thing half double crochet in the back loop only all the way around and to finish up round eight half double crochet in the back loop only slip stitch to close chain one and then we are going to do that one more time so another round of half double crochets in the back loop only so continue doing that until we get back to the beginning and we'll finish up this half 
here we are at the end. Get that last stitch done. Go ahead and grab your scissors. I'm going to leave about eight inches. And then I'm going to pull my yarn through. And get your yarn needle. And how I close it up is on this first stitch right here. And go through both loops. And then you're going to go through the back loop and this third loop back here of the last stitch in the round. And go ahead and pull that closed. And it just looks like another stitch there. At this point, you can remove your stitch marker. It's no longer needed. There we go. All we need to do now is sew in the ends. Although on the inside of the hat, don't sew this one shut. I keep this long to help tie in the, the pom-pom when we attach it. Go ahead and secure it with a knot and sew it in the rest of the way. And we'll get that palm on. I like to go back and forth a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and secure. Go ahead and trim that end. Just going to tuck it for now. And the body of your hat's done. Now for the pom-pom, you can use store-bought pom-pom. You can make your own. I made my own out of the Arctic gray, light gray. And I will have another video on how I make these enormous pom-poms. So just go ahead to your yarn needle. And attach your palm. You're going to want to weave up and back through to make sure that it's secure. So just do that a few times. Tug it tight. Bring it back down through the hat and do that about four or five times and that should keep it pretty tight and secure. Now that your pom-pom is sewn on, you want to flip the hat inside out and the reason I didn't sew this in yet is because I like to to secure my pom-pom really good before I sew in that end. Plus it will help hide the white strings from the pom-pom. Just take your yarn needle and go ahead and weave that around. Trim your ends, give it a little fluff, and there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment.
See you next time.